Holly and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be sharing like a little Valentine's Day haul, spring haul, and then doing like everyday home decor. I was trying to surprise y'all, but he is ready to be seen in his cute outfit. Say hey everyone. So since we're doing Valentine's Day, I decided to go ahead and put him in one of his cute little Valentine's Day outfits. I love the little bear. That's on his little hat. So this is like a little matching set that I got actually from Gap, but it's got the little bear. Look, say hey, <laughs> the heart. And then also on the booty, it says loved. Do you think you're loved? And I know that y'all love seeing him. Hey, hey. So I have a few things that I wanted to share with y'all that I got new that can go for like Valentine's Day and spring decor. So the first thing that I grabbed was from Home Goods and actually TJ Maxx. But it was $14.99 and it's this little bust. These little busts have been so popular, but I've had like these little statues head um, for a few years now and I just really love them. And so I saw this one, I don't have one like this. And I thought that it would be really pretty maybe put in the four year. So we'll kind of see. From Amazon, I also wanted to change out our pillow covers. I've been trying to find pillow covers instead of pillows because it's just easier to store. And if you saw my last video, um, I shared with y'all a little tip on what my cousin Rachel is actually her tip on where to put all those um, pillows, like seasonal pillows. So definitely go check out that video, but I've been trying to get pillow covers. So we're going to see if these are going to work. I wanted to kind of lighten the couch up a little bit for Valentine's Day and like spring. And so this is some pillow covers that I got I think they're going to be really pretty and they still have a little bit of black in them. I just love this like little window pane print. It's like a nod to the black and not like overpowering black like these, which I loved having these out. And I think they could definitely work for um, my spring decor with like my white tulips and all. But I just wanted to kind of lighten the couch just a little bit. The next thing that I grabbed was I needed some chargers for our table to do like little table skates. And so I got these at Hobby Lobby and they were $2.99 and they were plastic, but I just liked how they um, had the little detail around the rims with like the distressed gold. I thought that these plates could go for every season and so that's why I wanted to purchase these. Okay, so I got some cute stuff for Valentine's Day. So first we'll start with these. I got these at Hobby Lobby and they were already 40% off. And uh, I thought these were so cute. I don't know what I will do with them. Um, but I like just adding little things to our Valentine's Day collection because we usually have a party over here. Like I usually host like a little Valentine's Day party or like Galentine's. And then I know with having Casey and him getting older and hopefully future kids, um, whenever they start getting to the age where they recognize different holidays and stuff. Like I love watching my friend Lauren who has a little boy, Ollie. Um, she just goes all out for different seasons and she talks about how much he loves it. So I'm excited to do that with Casey and hopefully he'll enjoy um, all these fun little holidays. So I just went ahead and grabbed these and then I also grabbed these little things of hearts. So I thought I could hang on them like from the windows or I could even not even open them up all the way and like tape them to the windows or do like little um, photo props with them. I don't know. I just thought they were super cute. So I'm sure there's lots of different ways I could use those. And whenever we get to decorating, we'll see what I come up with. Then I also grabbed these little paper plates thought they were so cute and if y'all remember in my Christmas decorate with me um, for my tablescape I actually used plastic I had found spode ones uh, or actually paper spode plates and I used those instead of having to like store heavy dishes I thought that this was so cute so I thought that I could just put these on top of this with like a cute little napkin or something and then um use that for my tablescape so we're gonna see I also I forgot I'll add this in um, later in the video if they get here this week before this video is posted because today's Wednesday and this video is supposed to be posted Sunday So hopefully they'll be in but I actually bought some really beautiful rose Dishes like plates that I'm gonna put hopefully in our cabinets in the kitchen um, There's two different ones, but they're two different rows like red rose plates and they're gorgeous I got them from Etsy. So hopefully I can share that with y'all towards the end of this video I've been on the hunt for um like red rose dishes for the last couple of years and I was looking at thrift stores and things like that but let's be honest it's been so hard to try to get out and about especially now with having casein and so online ordering from like Etsy and eBay and things like that has been my go-to for sure 
because I can't, like you can't just go and expect to find those certain pieces that you're looking for. It's like a, you have to go once or twice a week to really be able to dig and find those pieces. And so that's just not doable right now with him. And so Etsy and eBay has been my, like my best friend. The next thing I grabbed was this cute little platter. Um, they actually had smaller versions of these that I thought about getting to put on these plates around the, which I guess these big ones would have been pretty too, but um, they had a smaller version, but I decided just to get one of these. And so I could put like little treats on this. I just loved the little balloons. It was $4.99 at Home Goods. Then these two pieces are my favorite pieces that I got for Valentine's Day. I got this beautiful garland for $16.99 at Home Goods, I love bedazzled things. Y'all know that. And it has like little tassels. So I thought that these were just gorgeous to put on my mantle. And I'm excited to see how that's gonna look. It's just so, so pretty. And then this was by far my favorite. My mom actually found this. I was going through looking and I picked one out and I was like, I think I like this one. This one's really pretty. And she was like, hmm, I'm shocked because I thought you were gonna pick out one of the ones that I had saw. And I was like, well, which one did you see? Because maybe I missed it. And she pulled it out and I was like, I did miss that. I love it so much. Look at this beautiful table runner. So this is at Home Goods for $24.99. It's just so, so, so pretty. I loved the little details, the little beadwork, the little pearls. It has all kinds of different little hearts. And so I'm not real sure if we're gonna use this on my dining room table or our island. So we'll see about that. But again, this was $24.99 and it's by the brand Cupcakes and Cashmere. And this brand has been like everything that they have, I have loved at Home Goods. So this Cupcakes and Cashmere, they have like just a beautiful, fun little holiday items and I have just loved them. I about forgot, so I also got some red silk ribbon. Um, little bows have been like, you know, so popular this year and they're just so cute. I have just been scrolling pictures for little Valentine's Day ideas and the bows came up where you tied them like I did around New Year's, tied them around the little wine glasses or champagne glasses. So there's been several little ways that I wanted to use this ribbon. So I went ahead and grabbed this at Walmart. I went ahead and pulled the boxes from up in the attic. And I think this is more spring florals. There are like some white roses in here and my tulips are in here. We won't be using the hydrangeas yet. And then this is my box full of Valentine's Day. I'm gonna go through it and see what of this that we want to use this year. Also have these that I want to put. We're going to decorate the front porch today. And I also have these I forgot to share with y'all. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them or not. So we'll see. But I actually got these from Target. I needed some more like spring, like a nod to spring floral arrangement. So we're going to try those. And then also have, he said I was ready for you to hold me, mom. So you're going to hear him. He's about to eat and go down for a nap. So you're going to hear him huffing in the background. All right, let's see if I can do this with one hand. So we have these I used, I got these from Amazon in a set of three. We used these on the front porch last year just because nothing is pretty and green and in bloom right now. So we got some faux plants, which isn't my favorite, but that's all we have to work with while it's still kind of cold outside. And then these wreaths I actually got last year from Amazon and I loved them for Valentine's Day. They'd be beautiful for spring and Easter too. But it's this beautiful tulip wreath and I love how full it is. So we have two of those, very, very festive for Valentine's Day. So I got two of these that we're gonna put on the front porch. And I'm thinking I want to go get some fabric and tie like big silk bows on either these wreaths or maybe these. I have some ideas. So we're gonna play around with it today and see what we come up with. Okay, I'm gonna put him down for a nap real quick and then we'll start playing.
absolutely dead. First off, if you can't tell by this, you can scratch your limbs and if they are green, they're still alive, but these are completely brown, they are dead. Someone told me in my last video, you're not supposed to feed, like fertilize your plants in the um, winter months. And I feel like I knew that, but I guess I was thinking it was like for plants like in the earth, but I didn't think about the ones in the pot. So these are completely gone, but that's okay. I mean, it's not okay. I wish that they would have survived. But now I know whenever I buy them this year, I need to bring them into the garage into that little area that I was sharing with y'all. Um, for next winter. So definitely go check out that video because I shared a lot more details about things over there. But we have something to replace these anyway. Then also right here, I'm playing around with some different um, ideas for new boxes. I kind of wanted to do like those taller urns that I had in the back. Definitely go check out that last video so you'll see what I'm talking about. But the taller urns in the back and then these kind of beside them catty cornered and these are too big these are bigger than the ones i thought but i did find some more that were just smaller size so that idea could still work or i'm like do i like just the terracotta or do i like just using just these or i could use these on the back porch i don't know we'll see spring and i'll share more details about what i'm doing in the spring but i'm going ahead and finding the things that i want to do now before it all gets gone <music> So I wanted to take the time to thank our video sponsor for today, which is Costway. And so thank you so much, Costway, for sending over these four feet tall spiral boxwood artificial topiaries. I just love them so much. They actually sent over these last year, and I used them on my front porch um, for Valentine's Day last year, if you remember. Um, I used them all the way up until the plant nurseries put out the real topiaries and so that's what we're going to be doing again this year and these are just so nice i love the quality and i love how they brighten up our front porch so i'll be sure to link these down below in the description box okay we're going to talk through the details like we did the last video but at least i have some things now to show you a visual okay this is not happening i'm just sharing with you all my vision so you can kind of see but i would really love in my mind right now is to have a bigger size one of those and a smaller size one of these because I just think that these are just, um, they just don't pair well together. And so I'm thinking if I can find the oversized one of this one. And for now, while I'm waiting on the real ones to come back out into the plant nurseries, um, I'll just use these fake ones, which I love having on hand because you can't find like things like this right now whenever you're trying to spruce up and use like, some greenery on your porches and stuff or like pretty plants when you're ready for spring really want to get the oversize of this one and then put the real version of the one that already had that dyed in here and y'all saw that that one was a little bit taller and so because it had the three this one only has the two so it'd be a little bit taller and then i want to get so it would be a lot taller because it would be in the little urn with the stand and then I want to get a shorter version of this one and smaller to catty corner right here again and then to eventually what I find, even if it's something that spirals like this, or just like a Christmas tree shape, I'm not real sure. But that's what I envision for our front porch for the spring and summer. Um, but for right now, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do to kind of spruce this up for February until March gets here and we can get those things. And I'm still trying to find the right sizes of those. Also, this one would look really pretty just by itself with the three-tiered real topiary in it. Um, so I could just do that, but I don't know. I'm just really excited about doing the two. And then I could also use these on the back patio. I'm thinking I could use the bigger version on the back patio. And then I could also take the smaller version back there and use these on the back. But there's a little step in the direction that we're going for these. But for right now, let's try to see what we can do with what we already have. So I really need to like wash this rug and I wanna like blow it off and then just wipe down the glass and then put up those wreaths. And that's probably what we're gonna do today. But we're gonna actually go back inside and finish decorating. And we're gonna come back here in the afternoon whenever Drew gets home because Casey's wanting to come outside and I can't have him outside and decorate. So Drew can rock with him outside as I decorate and we'll be one big happy family.
So I told y'all in my last video that I wanted to change up the foyer a little bit and I wanted to find a new lamp for the foyer. Well, I actually had this one in our guest bedroom. And if you follow me on Instagram, you already saw this little trick that I did. And I was so excited because it fit perfectly. So I got to use what I had and kind of reinvent our little foyer area. And it just turned out so perfect. So I'm not real sure if I like this lampshade or not. So we're gonna try to get this one and put it on there. I actually got this one from Target. And I love this little pleated look. And and so let me know your thoughts. I'm not real sure if I need to try to find a bigger one or if this one works. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. I put it on there just to kind of live with it for a couple days. I didn't take the plastic off just to see if I thought if it would work or not. I also remembered that I had this little marble tic-tac-toe set that would be perfect for Valentine's Day that we may use in here or on our coffee table. I think I got that from Kirkland's or Amazon last year. And now we're just gonna add a few decorations into the foyer to kind of just do like a little nod to spring. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest You're the leaves in mid paint them or paint them black and it was really the only size that I could find this is like a 14 inch the other ones they were a 20 inch so I thought these would be perfect um especially if I can find I don't think they look terrible with the smaller size one but I think if I could find the bigger size one of those um it would look really good Sorry, I'm going to have to voice over this part. That wind was terrible. But I was saying that I really wanted to do the two different ones. So if I could find the bigger urn, then I would like to do that. And then add the real tube berries in them in the spring. And then also add some like um, ivy and little white, um, not pansies. What are they called? Petunias. I had to look it up real quick. Anyway, but little white flowers to add um, around the little boxes i think that would be so so pretty and so i'm loving how this is turning out let me know what you think should i just do one big one maybe the one big box one that's already black or should i paint these blue ones black and use the two and maybe try to find the bigger size urn or do y'all like these two let me know in the comments down below these actually came in the mail, so I ordered some red tulips and some pink tulips. I just loved how our front porch wreaths look, and they just, like, screamed Valentine's Day. And so I grabbed those, and then I got these plates. This is just one set that I got from Etsy. They are so cute. I cannot wait to decorate with these in my next video in our kitchen. We're going to be decorating our kitchen next. And then I'm waiting on the other set that I got to come in the mail, but... Like I said, I just loved our wreaths on our front door, and so I got these to add to our white ones throughout the house, and I'm going to share with y'all what they look like in the foyer. It just, I don't know, it just makes me smile. I just add, love adding this little pop of color in here for the month of love. I own. Yeah, I'd give it all up now just to be with you somehow. Unexpected. 
unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest Okay, friends well that is going to be all for today's video i hope that this video brought you some love and some little hope for spring um be sure to hit that subscribe button and come back next week because we're going to be decorating the rest of our house and doing like a little valentine's day home tour so i cannot wait to share it with y'all i hope that y'all have a wonderful rest of your week and i will see you guys on the very next one god bless and i'll see you soon so slow hold you in my arms one day.